Hello everyone. Uh, today we will have a, uh, a short video about uh, an NDT test, an undestructive test of concrete, which is ultrasonic pulse velocity test. Uh, we do this test to uh, check the quality of the concrete. We have this machine which will give the pulse and this is transducers. We have two transducers. One will give the pulse and one will receive the pulse. And depending on the distance between these transdu transducers, we will get the speed here. Now we will do it and we will see. And we also have this calibration rod to make sure that these transducers are calibrated and giving uh, 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 the needed uh, data. First of all, we will turn off, uh, we will turn on the the machine. Second, first of all, we have to uh, make the calibration using the rod, this rod. Here, which we can make, this is the rod, and also he has given the the data that it has, it, it should appear here on the screen. This this number should appear here on the screen when we will do the calibration. Let's start. For the calibration, go for this, calibration, now it's set for calibration, now we have to use the grease because the grease will make sure that no voids between the transducer and the surface. Well, that's concrete, but now we are using on the rod. So to make sure there's no void, we have to use the grease. If the surface is too much rough, then you have to put too much, like the amount of grease will be more. Now here we know that it's a uh, soft surface. There's no kind of uh, voids or uh, it's a stable surface, if I can say that. Okay. So now after we do this, do this first side, second side, and we have now to click, start, yes, and now we can screen the, yeah, take the screen. The first number is the speed given and the second number is the speed received. Huh. So we have now 25.4 microsecond and 25.4 is given from the rod, from the calibration rod. So our system is calibrated. Now we can take, we can take this, remove it. And now we can start applying on the concrete surface. Now let's do an application for this concrete cube. On this concrete cube, we have these transducers. We take again grease. Let's suppose that I will take this surface and this surface. This surface and this surface. And this is, we name it as a direct. And we have also IS code to, that speak about this, uh, this uh, test. Now we have put some amount of grease here and there. Now what we will do, before applying the uh, balls, we have to make sure to insert the distance. Because the distance between, the distance in this cube is 15 centimeter, 150 mm. Like it depends on the member. If I'm doing on a beam, then I have to take, like whatever the member I'm using, I have to insert the distance between these two transducers. If I'm applying here, then I have to take this distance. If I'm applying here, then I have to take this distance. So now this distance is for this cube is 150 mm. So I got the system. I first tell him that I want to do, if, I, if we can come closer just to see, 
This option is for direct. We can see the two transducer and the medium in the middle. We press here. Huh, now he's telling me, okay, what is the distance? The distance is already 0 0.15 meter. So it's already 15, 150 mm. So no need to change. If it's another than 150 mm, we do insert and we do like by using this and this, we change the distance needed. But now it's 150 mm, so it's the, the, the needed one. We go back, it's 150. So now by pressing this, we do the test. But before pressing this, we have to now position each transducer on the side here and here. And now we need our friend to click on go. Huh. So now he, we, ha, we got, he, he gave me a number, 4,771 meter per, per second. And we have in the IS code, uh, the desired speed. So 4,771 is a very good one. We have to take care of many factors that may affect the speed. For example, if the bill is uh, reinforced, with high ratio of reinforcement, also it will affect the speed, it will increase the speed. So all these things we have to take care of it. And yeah, this is how we do direct uh, bounce velocity test. We have indirect also, if, if the both sides of the member are not being able to reach, we can do it like on this side surfaces. Yeah, and this is just a simple, a simple and brief uh, clarification of this test and I hope it will be helpful for you. Thank you.